Hi, today we're going to be discussing characters and character qualities. This video is designed by Mr. Patrick McGee for Our Lady of Good Counsel School in September 2012. Whether you're discussing Disney, Looney Tunes, Pokemon, or even The Simpsons, every character in that story's universe is designed for a specific reason and with specific qualities. Character qualities are what the character is like as a person. Remember, the author has designed this character with these qualities for a reason. They are unique to them. These qualities will affect how the character will react to the conflict or problem of the story. Let's look at the story of the grasshopper and the ant as an example. They're two different characters reacting to the same conflict differently. The grasshopper is lazy, who wants to enjoy himself now and worry about things later. The ant is a hard worker who wants to make sure there is enough food for himself so he can enjoy himself later. The problem is that both animals need to survive the winter by storing food for later. So how do these two different characters react to the same problem? Well, the grasshopper, being lazy, enjoys the summer and fall and decides to worry about gathering food when he needs to. The ant, on the other hand, works hard all year preparing for the winter months so he can enjoy the time of year where food is scarce. You can recognize the character qualities by what the character thinks, does, or says. Let's see if we can't pick up what each character thinks, does, or says that shows us their character qualities. Why do we need to worry about the winner when we have so much time? We must prepare for the winter or else we are starved. That poor little ant, he's missing all the fun. What did you notice? You should have seen that the grasshopper says he's going to wait until there's less time left when he needs to worry. While the ant says they should worry now so to make sure they have enough food. The grasshopper does nothing to prepare for the winter, while the ant hurries along bringing hot dogs back home in order to make sure he has enough food. And the grasshopper thinks the ant is the one he should feel sorry for. Since the reaction to the conflict is directly affected by the character's qualities, so is the resolution, or the outcome, of the story. How are you going to notice this, you ask? Well, you should ask yourself, how do the qualities of the character affect the way the story's events unfold? Well, for the ant, being a hard, determined worker leads to surviving the winter with plenty of food. Hey, man, I'm out of here! <laughs> while for the grasshopper, being a lazy procrastinator has left him in the cold to survive on his own. Burr, burr, burr. A quick review. Character qualities are what the character is like as a person. Remember, these qualities are specific to that character, and the author has given that character those qualities for a reason. The character's qualities directly affect the conflict by how the character will react to the problem, and because of this, directly affects the outcome of the story or the resolution. And finally, you can always recognize the character's qualities by what they say, think, and do. 
Now it's think time. I would like you to think of another story you have read where the character's qualities have directly affected the outcome of the story. Maybe they were lazy like the grasshopper, or hardworking and determined like the ant. I would like you to draw a story map like the example found on page 154 of our textbook for the story that you thought of. I would like you then to bring this story map to class so you can discuss it in your group. Remember, if you need anything, have any problems or questions, you can email me at patrick underscore mcgee11 at yahoo.com or reach me through our wikispace grade 6 mcgee.wikispaces.com. Have a great night and keep working hard.